let's quickly talk about Cash App Taxes versus Tax Slayer. And uh, so those are two great software providers when it comes to filing your taxes. So in today's conversation, we want to do a compare and contrast. So here's an overview I want you to pay attention to. The thing here is that when you, whether you think about Cash App Taxes or Tax Slayer, you have the ability to actually uh, file your taxes virtually. So online, not a problem. And the, the cool thing is that you can actually file your taxes with the federal government and also the state government. The only the only difference here is that Cash App Taxes you can only file uh, one state uh, tax return. You can't. You cannot file multiple state tax return. Okay, and uh, and also one thing you need to really understand here is that with Cash App Taxes you do not have a I would say support, and whether you pay for it or not, I mean you the the, the position. I mean the, the the service is just not there. Okay, and when it comes to tax layer, you have a more comprehensive sort of a suite. Of services and so you are able to actually uh, even get uh, live help if you want to so when you think about tax layer I want you to think about uh, a tool that's great for filers who don't need much guidance so if you're listening to me right now you love the whole DIY thing and you don't or your tax your taxes are not really complicated and you can file on your own you want to go with tax or you want to go with uh, cash app taxes so cash app taxes follows with simple tax return and uh, for tax layer Basically, those are those are for filers who have a somewhat complicated to uh, like easy to complicated tax return, but th- those who do not need much guidance. So the difference between cash app taxes and tax layer is is like, first of all, cash app taxes you are completely on your own. Tax layer you are somewhat on your own. Okay, you you can actually get the help if you want to, but you have to pay for it. So it's really important to understand that. Then let's talk about the tax layers. Uh, Tax layer pros and cons to really understand what we're talking about. So you have cheaper premium editions. You have audit defense that's less expensive than competitors. And but so those, those are the pros. What about the cons? No tax advice. Okay. What about the cash app taxes pros and cons here? Well, the pro is free. The con is that you don't have many forms supported. So boss. Welcome back to the show. It's really a pleasure to have you here. Make yourself comfortable. You are going to enjoy today's conversation. Let's talk. Let's talk about the pricing here. So when we talk about uh, cash app taxes versus tax layer, what, what about the prices? First of all, for tax layer, I want you to see on the screen right now. Here is a pricing for a tax layer. As of the date of this show so basically by the time maybe you watch this prices might have changed but yeah so tax layer has a four pricing tiers so you have the simply free the classic the premium and the self-employed and the tax layer actually uses a, a pricing uh, strategy that's kind of similar to what h and block or TurboTax has okay so it's, it's kind of similar you can only get tax assistance through the top so through the two top tier plans and audit support is only available for the self-employed so for you to get um, let's say tax assistance you got to have either premium or self-employed we're talking here about the tax layer though okay so this is kind of important so when we talk about tax layer the simple free you have basic taxes and student taxes no tax assistance okay so you the pricing zero dollar federal zero dollar state what about classic all tax situations except uh, except self-employed and here you have no tax assistance in terms of uh, the cost, you're, you're looking at $35, the $35 for federal and 40 bucks for, for state. What about the premium? Premium is the same as classic, but with priority support, it includes tax assistance and audit support. So here you have a $54.95, this is the federal, and $39.95 at the state level. And the self-employed, here you have personal and self-employed taxes. This includes tax assistance so your, the pricing is $64.95 federal and $39.95 state. This is for uh, this is for uh, tax layer. What about cash app taxes? Well, cash app taxes doesn't offer tax assistance, but does offer full audit support through a third party. Okay, and when we talk about the pricing here, basically you're paying nothing. So you're paying zero dollar at the federal level and zero dollar state level. And so here, all forms and tax situations are included. But no tax assistance is really a part of a part of the deal. So if you listen to me right now, going back to what I said, if you love the DIY route, you will really, really appreciate Cash App taxes. This is just fantastic. 
By the way, boss, I want to quickly remind you of today's topic. We are having a conversation about uh, cash up taxes versus tax slayer. I want to talk to you about the features here. So when you, when, whether you consider a tax layer versus a cash up taxes, what are the features I, I want you to pay attention to? So let's first start with start with the tax layer. So the tax layer is a very affordable uh, platform that lets you file your state taxes for free if you use its basic service. And tax layer has a deduction finder tool that lets you quickly find potential deductions based on your personal and tax information. And then, so we love that a lot. Basically, if you use uh, if you use a tax layer multiple years in a in a row, it will automatically compare your taxes from year to year. So we'll do like a year to year sort of uh, analysis to see if you are also to see if you are doing like if you are optimally uh, filing your taxes for this year. Okay, this is kind of cool because and and the the cool thing also is that with tax layer, you are able to get a good handle of your financial situation because of that background and analysis that's been done. So this is really cool. What about, let's talk about cash app taxes. So as as with uh, many cheaper tax filing platforms, cash app taxes can save you a ton of money, but it doesn't have a ton of additional bells and whistles. Still, it features an easy to use interface. You have audit defense and you have an, an accuracy guarantee. And with cash app taxes, you can file most, uh, you can actually file most common tax forms, but it doesn't support multiple state filings part year state filings, foreign earned income, or state returns for married couple filing separately in community property states. You also cannot do a state filing without a federal filing through through actually cash app taxes. And because it only supports the most common forms, it may not cover your specific tax situation. So it's one of those things where if you were if you want to go with cash app taxes, just be aware that there might be one or two or three forms missing. So you will actually will be filing your taxes incompletely. This is why we always advise our clients to uh, have a, a strong dose of DIY if you, they want they want to go with the cash up taxes because you know I mean you first of all you have to be aware that you are missing uh, some paperwork because if you have no if you have no idea that you are missing paperwork that's really com- that's really even more complicated right so you want to be on your own go with uh, cash up taxes. Let me talk to you about some extras here. So let's talk about signing up. So basically, uh, signing up for a TurboTax or a cash app, uh, cash app taxes or even tax layer is very similar. Nothing complicated at all. I mean, they're not really trying to really uh, sort of complicate stuff for you or asking you like uh, one gazillion questions or no. You will start an account if you don't already already have one and you will need to verify your email address. And sometimes we have, we have seen that the email that they sent you, the verification email goes to spam so check your 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 spam just to make sure your spam email the spam folder to make sure that you haven't received uh, an email from cash app taxes or a tax layer and so with uh, TurboTax and tax layer and uh, Jason Hewitt for example you will choose your version at the start something something that cash app taxes doesn't do so cash app taxes gives you flexibility they first want you to really sign up for cash app not just the cash app taxes just the cash app the the, the app that's called cash app and so and once you do this then they start asking you other other questions okay and so but if you end up needing more forms that are covered with your chosen version you can upgrade while filing your taxes again we're speaking here about TurboTax or tax layer or jackson hewitt and you don't pay for the service until you actually file your taxes so let's talk about security so each of uh, this option cash app taxes or uh tax layer is kind of similar on security because they, they all use bank level uh, encryption and the latest security standard which is which is re- i mean those standard uh, those standards are provided by the irs okay and legitimate tax filing services are authorized by the irs which ensures that they comply with up-to-date security and privacy standards you have to understand when we talk about filing taxes we're speaking about actually divulging the uh private data of millions of americans right so if, if before you choose uh, any any provider, whether it is cash app taxes or a tax layer or another provider, 
make sure that their security protocol is really strong because god forbid if your data is, is really out there in the wrong hands this could be really problematic for you especially when we talk about social security data because what anytime we talk about uh, tax data we're speaking about simultaneously social security and uh, income data by the way boss i want to quickly remind you of today's topic we are having a conversation about cash app taxes versus tax slayer So let's talk about mobile support and accessibility. So if you don't have, let's say you don't, you don't have a laptop or prefer to work on your taxes on your phone. And so either cash app taxes or a tax layer will, could actually work for you. This is not a big, it's not a big, a big thing for them. They have the app, they have everything. They have the, the foundation and tax layer. The, the thing is that the tax layer doesn't have uh, Apple and Android friendly mobile apps that you can use to file your taxes though. However, TaxLayer's uh, mobile app only supports the more simple tax returns, and uh, so keep that in mind. And Cash App Taxes the, doesn't have its own mobile app, but it has a mobile-friendly website you can use to file your taxes from your phone. So this is kind of cool. And uh, what about customer service and support? Well, either uh, Cash App Taxes or TaxLayer actually uh, offers basic software support in different ways. With TaxLayer, for instance, you can reach customer support via chat or email. And, and uh, with uh, TaxLayer, you can get support via email or phone with priority support available for certain versions of the products. So this is kind of cool. And But TaxLayer, it's a little kind of slow, though, especially during, ta during tax season. They're really slow. So TaxLayer's support can take 24 to 48 hours to respond to emails unless you are one of those with a priority account. And Cash App Taxes generally has good ratings of its support and customer service as well. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that support in these cases is really more about the software, okay? So neither uh, tax layer nor cash app taxes actually uh, employs, uh, neither employ tax professionals to give you actual uh, tax advice. They can help you with some forms you may struggle with or with software related issues only. Okay, so this is, uh, but if you take, if you think about TurboTax, if you think about the uh, H&R Block, if you think about uh, like Jackson Hewitt, basically uh, those are companies that employ tax professionals who can screen share with you and give you live advice on your taxes. But this just comes at an additional cost. So just this is important to know. All right, what is the verdict here? So cash up taxes versus tax layer, which is best for you? Basically, if you know what you're doing and have a fairly simple uh, situation, you want to go with uh, cash up taxes, okay? So if you have filed your own taxes before, again, I want to insist on that. You have done it before and you don't need a lot of guidance. Cash up taxes is the way to go. You just can't be free. However, the no price option does have some limitations. It may not offer as much guidance as you will get, especially with, with uh, TurboTax. And if you run into a situation where you need an unsupported form, you will have to start over on another platform, which could be really, really frustrating. And let's talk about uh, if you need to file complicated taxes at a low price, go with TaxLayer. TaxLayer is a, is a really an excellent middle of the road option for price and functionality it doesn't offer much as as uh, doesn't offer as much guidance as uh, TurboTax or Justin Hewitt or even HR Block, but it does offer audit support and plenty of tax filing options for a much 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 lower price and uh, if you need live advice let's say you are in a situation where you need to have live advice uh, 24 7 when you file your taxes and uh, it's one of those things where you can actually go to a third party. So you can go to a TurboTax. I'll speak about TurboTax later on. But basically, yeah, it's really a live, uh, a, a live opportunity to, for getting great, great advice. So basically, the bottom line here is that when it comes to a tax software, there are no shortage of options. You can file your taxes for free or for cheap in many cases. But in, in this case, you need to be sure you aren't missing any pieces. 
or you can pay a lot more to have a tax professional look at your tax situation personally. And so it all depends in our view on your situation and your needs for this particular tax year. And you also want to make sure that whatever option you go for, you want to be uh, in terms, in good terms with, uh, with the IRS. And uh, before we close to this conversation, I just say that um, when we talk about uh, the, like when we talk about w- which one is best for you, you're going to have to decide which one is best for you, depending upon your needs and depending upon your situation, your filing status as well. Let me give you an alternative here. So while we talk about cash app taxes versus tax layer, there is an alternative and this alternative can be TurboTax, H&R Block or Jackson Hewitt. And I want to really quick, I want to briefly uh, talk about uh, TurboTax here. So when you talk about, when you think about TurboTax, I want you to think about a simple interface and you have advice from tax expert all year long, not just around tax season. What about the the big uh, drawback here? It is expensive. So TurboTax is really expensive. And uh, so they do offer four planes, each of three levels of service, DIY, live and full service. And the service levels uh, determine how much access you will have to a tax professional. You you will not get any access to uh, any access to a live professional with DIY, while you will have unlimited phone access with uh, the live planes. And the full service plans allow you to have a professional do your taxes on your behalf. So basically, you have uh, the DIY edition, you have the free, the, 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 the deluxe, the premiere, and the self-employed. Then you have the live edition. Here again, you have a uh, free, deluxe, premiere, and self-employed. And, then, and the full service, you have free, deluxe, premiere, and self-employed. So uh, it's really important to really have a clear idea of what you're paying for. And what about the, some of the most important features you need to uh, remember here? TurboTax has always been one of the leaders in guided online tax filing, and they have a great reputation and a wonderful online interface. And they also have some interesting newer features, including live tax expert guidance. So this is obviously a premium service that you have to pay extra for. But if you pay for it, you can live chat with the tax expert who can check your taxes and answer your questions for free. And uh, so you also have a, three financial numbers. So after you file your taxes, TurboTax gives you access to three key financial numbers, your credit score, debt to income ratio, and overall income for the tax year. You can get this elsewhere, but it's helpful to have them in all in one place. So it's one of those things where uh, basically you're going to have to uh, like, you're going to have to remember that whether you want to choose a cash app taxes or a tax layer, you always have a third option or even a fourth, a fifth or sixth. You have a lot of players in this field. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. Into this conversation, I was just quickly talking to you about cash app taxes versus tax layer. So I, I gave you the overall, the pricing, the features, the extras, the verdict and the alternative. Thank you so much. God bless you. I'll see you next time. Until then, remember, stay marvelous.